inside of the entry header, again, I'll say template for entry header, post entry header, maybe, and then add package Aquila. Okay, and over here, I'm going to open a semantic HTML tag called header. Give it a class of entry header. Inside of this, I'll open a PHP tag. And the first thing I want to do is display featured image. To display featured image, uh, we have different functions available in WordPress, but before even we display it, we want to check if the featured is image is available. If, and we'll check has post thumbnail, we'll create a variable called has post thumbnail equals, we'll get the post thumbnail, get the post thumbnail, and then we'll pass the ID of the post. So let's store the ID in a variable called the post ID equals get the ID. So this is a WordPress function, get the ID is going to get me the post ID. I'll pass that to get post thumbnail function. It's going to return the post thumbnail for me. And I'm going to check if has post thumbnail, if the post has the post, uh, thumbnail, which means your featured image. So if you go to any of the posts, like this one, it has a featured image, so it's going to return true. And if it is, then open it again. And then over here, we'll say div with a class of entry image. And I'll give, I'll give it some margin as well. So margin bottom three. And then inside of this, I want to have an anchor tag and I want to get the permalink so that when the user clicks on this thumbnail it should be redirected to the single post page. So I'll open a PHP tag, I'll echo out with an escape URL and there's a function called get permalink that's available inside of the loop and since we are inside of the loop it's going to get me the URL of the post which is the permalink. And then this is the place we want to be able to display the image. So let's create a custom function for this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go inside of the includes and then go inside of the helpers and create a file called template tags. So this is where our functions are going to reside our custom functions are going to reside where we require small chunks of code and we want to be able to use it. Okay, so inside of this I'm going to create function get the post custom thumb nail. Okay, and it's going to take certain parameters, let's say post ID and then it's going to take the size uh, let's say give it a size of there are different sizes you can register in WordPress for images uh, let's say we have registered a size called featured image we'll come to that how we're going to register it but uh, for now I'm just adding that here and then additional attributes so in case if you want the image tag to have more attributes other than your source alt etc then you can pass that inside of this additional attributes array. Okay, so I'm putting that as default as empty array and the default for size is featured image, the default for additional attribute is empty array, okay? And then inside of this, we can first say custom, we can create a variable called custom thumbnail equals an empty string and then if post ID is null then just use the WordPress function called get the ID 
to get that. Remember you have to use this function inside of the WordPress the loop otherwise you won't get the ID. And then so notice over here it says retrieve the ID of the current item in WordPress loop. It won't work outside of it. If you're using outside then probably you'll have to you have to get the post variable using the global keyword and then post uh, post arrow sign and the ID to get that. Okay. We'll come to that later. So if has post thumbnail, so this has, WordPress is a function called has post thumbnail, post ID, we pass the post ID. So if the thumbnail is available, we first use the default attributes. We'll set the default attributes to loading lazy. Now you must be wondering that if you are dealing with the images, are we going to take care of the lazy loading or not? And the good thing is that as in the WordPress 5.5, which is going to be released, I think in the month of August uh, this year, WordPress is going to pass the lazy loading attribute into all of our images on the WordPress by default. And you can opt out for opt out of it as well if you don't want to. Um, all this while we have been using the libraries for lazy loading but uh, if you read about the best practices of the performance then it asks you to implement the lazy loading and we already have the native image lazy loading of the web which you can get information here you can see that if uh, when the user scrolls and, and reaches that image only then that image is loaded so that's really good for performance because we don't want to load all of the images in case if we have like a thousand images on the page if the user hasn't even watched or not going to even watch. Imagine this is going to have an impact on the internet because we are going if we don't implement the lazy loading because it's going to consume a large amount of his internet because it's just going to be loading these images even though he hasn't even watched it or not going to watch it. Right, so what this says is that now native browser has an option wherein you can set an attribute key to loading and the value to be lazy and then automatically this feature will be implemented. However, this is only supported in Chrome, Edge, Firefox, etc. The implementation for WebKit Safari is still in progress. You can check on caniuse.com to get the detailed information. But just to let you know that we are just adding this attribute by default over here uh, into all of our images and uh, you must be saying that why are you doing this why are you explicitly adding the lazy loading attribute when WordPress is going to anyways provide that in WordPress 5.5 right now the thing is that WordPress 5.5 is not released yet so until then we will still have the lazy loading option now, the good part is that because I'm going to create a variable called attributes and I'm going to use array merge and then I'm going to pass the additional attributes which get gets passed from here by the user and then I'm going to include the default attributes inside of it and we'll just put that over here inside over here okay so since this is going to add the la uh, lazy loading attribute to our image tag even if the WordPress does add it if it's already present then we don't have to worry about it okay so this is going to merge whatever attributes we pass into the function along with this lazy loading attribute into our image and then finally we'll say custom thumbnail equals we have a function in WordPress which is called WP get attachment image which is this one uh, this gets us the attachment image. It takes different parameters. For example, it takes the image ID. So to get the image ID, I can do get post thumbnail ID and just pass the post ID into this. And then second parameter is the size. So we are going to get the size f as a parameter. Otherwise, it's just going to pick up the featured image next one up is going to ask for if or whether or not there's an icon or not so icon will be false and then the last one is the attributes so this is going to be a combination of lazy loading 
attribute plus if there are any that have been passed inside of the function okay so finally we have the custom thumbnail all I have to do is just return custom thumbnail that's it now uh, this is going to return the thumbnail but I want to echo it out so all I have to do is just create another function and let's name it as the post custom thumbnail and again it's going to take the same parameters so I'm just going to copy this from top and then all it has to do is basically just echo out your thumbnail echo get the post thumbnail and I just have to pass all of these parameters so post ID size additional attributes okay awesome so all I have to do is just call this function and it's going to get me the image so I'll go to my entry header and over here I'm just going to call this function the post custom thumbnail again it's going to ask me for the post ID we already have that here so I'll pass that it's going to ask me for the size so size will be featured large featured large should be good I think let's just replace that to be featured large okay and then next parameter will be the additional attributes so I can pass sizes I can set that to max width to be 590 pixels and then 590 pixels comma 425 pixels you can choose your size that you want to use and then we can also give it a class so all these attributes will be added to the image we haven't registered this image size we'll be doing that later just to let you know attachment featured large size featured image these are my custom classes I mean it's up to you whether you want to use them or not okay uh, we also need to go ahead and uh, include that template tags we haven't done that so let's go to our functions.php and like we have included our auto loader let's also include the template tags template tags dot php okay and the next thing I'm going to do is just go on to our style.css and open an image selector and give a width of 100% and height of to auto. We'll be moving this CSS later on when we set up the webpack uh, etc but for now let's just put, put it here. Awesome so now you can see that we have the featured thumbnails being displayed over here if you do an inspect element if you're wondering where did the content go we just took that off we haven't added the title and the content we removed it remember so we have the entry header and inside of this we have the image we have the width and the height that's coming from WordPress and then we have the sizes this is the sizes we mentioned and uh, okay great so we have also got the class attached to it perfect Awesome. So we've got this featured image uh, showing for these blog posts and in the next video we'll continue further adding the title and, and the rest of the stuff. Okay, perfect. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye. <music>